Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rafa here. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you on a Mon NL223 A21 in Ljubljana. There it is. Ljubljana currently operates six of them. All six of them uh, delivered in 2003. They were delivered together with uh, 13 NG313s. Let's get on board. There it is. They're also currently the oldest um, solo buses running in the fleet. Uh, and basically the interior looks like um, a solo version of the NG313. The buses were ordered uh, together, both the NG313 and an L223 in one tender. Um, there's a tender basically for 13 articulated buses and 6 solo buses. Uh, Mano won the contract and they delivered uh, those, uh, those buses. And this is a bus model that I like. Um, of course, it's because I like the NG313 and because I like the third uh, generation mod. The third generation meaning before the Lion City came out. Uh, and uh, yeah, although my personal favorite is the NG313, uh, the NL223 is a nice uh, solo version of it. Sounds different. Has a different engine. So um, it's not exactly the same type of sound that you get from both buses. Um, and generally, um, I always rode more NG three one threes in my life. It's only when I really started getting into um, into buses, into filming, that I actually um, managed to uh, write more of the solo um, solo buses of the third generation of Mon, like the NL223 or the NL263, NL283 and so on. And actually the NL263 engine uh, sounds more similar to the uh, NG313. Well, the NL223 and NL283 actually have um, a similar engine. That at, 
at times, uh, since the engine is not that powerful, it has only 220 horsepower. Uh, it can feel that the bus is. Uh, you might be able to feel that the bus is really being pushed to its limit at times. But here, it's it's okay. So yes, the bus is equipped with a 220 horsepower engine and uh, three three gear voice. Uh, gearbox. Uh, but those buses uh, will once once new uh, solo buses arrive, these buses will probably immediately go off. I mean, like get um, get withdrawn from service. But for now, as there are no new deliveries, uh, they are they are still running. And actually, what is interesting is that um, the, the operator LPP uh, bought uh, five units of the uh, Iveco City Class buses, which uh, were one year younger than those NL two two threes. And actually, the NL two two threes outlived those. Uh, Iveco City Class buses. Basically, what happened is that uh, when the Mercedes uh, Citaro C2 NGT Hybrid, <coughs> excuse me, that is, um, when when the Citaro C2 NGT Hybrid buses were delivered uh, in 2019, oh, basically those. Um, NGT is a form of natural gas um, that allowed the operator to phase out um, the Mount NL222s which uh, actually were delivered together with the fourth batch of the NG312 in uh, 2000 I believe there were around five units uh, it also allowed them to retire the remaining um, 0405s uh, bodied by Avtomontage. Uh, and these buses dated from 1998 or 1999. And then they had a choice either to retire uh, five Iveco City Class buses or six NL223s. And I should say six, five Iveco City Class buses dating from 2000 four or six month NL223 dating from 2003 um, and they decided to uh, to write off the Iveco buses and to keep those NL223s and uh, guys I'll be I'll, I'll be perfectly honest here I think they made a good choice uh, there's a uh, Knowing buses, I just know that uh, Iveco buses would probably not uh, not last long. Not a, they would not last as long as uh, as those NL two two threes, or at least they would be harder to maintain. Um, Iveco buses were not known uh, to be that uh, that reliable compared to. Um, compared to German brands like uh, Mahn or Mercedes. I think since then they've improved, uh, but yeah, uh, Mahn is still uh, generally more reliable. And also those Iveco buses, uh, I saw their interior before, uh, and even their exterior, is generally outdated. Like they... Um, I find that the, the buses that Iveco uh, built, used to build, um, I'm not sure if I can tell that now, but the buses they used to build were really outdated in their specifications. Like, they, their specifications are very cheap, and in fact I can show you the, uh, show you guys this on the, on the gear, Iris bus to tell us uh, buses that are running here, uh, which I will film a guide video of. Uh, Yeah, 
LPP has uh, 23 of those uh, Iris bus Citellus buses, powered by natural gas. 20, 23 solos and one articulated. But we'll look at that in, uh, those buses in another video. guys uh, thank you for watching as usual uh, stay tuned for the for the next videos see you guys on the next one bye bye